With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The spherical insulator of radius r is charged uniformly with a charge q throughout its volume and contains a point charge q by 16 located at its center. Which of the following graphs best represents qualitatively the variation of electric field intensity E with distance R from the center. So which graph is the correct option they are saying. See a spherical insulator of radius R is charged uniformly which means along the surface you have a charge uniform distribution of the charge located and you can say that uh, uh, when uh, a charge is present throughout its volume it contains a point charge Q by 16 at its center. So, which graph is representing? Now, if I say that uh, if x is less than r, see if the point charge if it is located at its center, which means that the distance from the charge to the point P, x when you are calling, if it is less than r, then the electric field equation becomes E is equal to a 1 by 4 or you can write it as uh, Q into x divided by 4 by 3 pi r cube into 3 epsilon naught plus the next one is q by 16 charge which is located at the center so it will be 4 pi epsilon naught into x square. Now since it is located at the center the differential of that becomes 0 so you can say that dE by dx becomes equal to 0. Which means that when you take out this common among these two, what you get? You get it as uh, common, you will take it as q by 4 pi epsilon naught, you will take it common. Uh, then you will be retained with 1 by r cube in the first term minus uh, 2 by 16 x cube in the second term, which is equal to 0. Now when you differentiate it once again, the square of the differential that is uh, d square e by d dx square when you are taking it. So d square e by dx square once again if it is 0 or if it is greater than 0 you can tell. So if that has to become minimum that should be greater than 0. And so when you differentiate this once again you will get it as uh, 6 q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into 16 x power 4. This is greater than 0. So they have told you the condition, they have mentioned you the condition that at x equals r by 2, half of the distance when you are taking, e will be minimum. e will be minimum. But for x greater than r, then E becomes the charge present on that sphere plus the point charge Q by 16 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into x square. So this will be the equation. Now when you see to the option, the correct option when you move on it, see here the first one at x equals r by 2 and x equals r. This represents x equals r by 2. And this is x equals r. So x equals r by 2 decreases. The value should be lesser and at x equals r it should be higher. So option A will be the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.